truck for my own use, uh -huh. I charge them. Okay. Pay, well, yeah, I mean, it still they, seems they to all pay the fifty dollars a month. Right. If they make some recognition of the value that you serve to pick it up. It still there, has. There's a couple ways I rationalize that. There's one: they're paying someone before I take over. Mm -hmm. I do it for less. Rather than writing me a check, I take it in meal vouchers. So when I want to take my wife or friends to dinner, we just pick a nice restaurant. There we go. I don't, I don't think we can do that. I only pick up. Sounds good. I don't think Gracie was paying attention when she said that. And also, if they're paying me, they have the right to call me and say, "Why didn't you get it?" The most right. important thing I stress to my customers or potential customers is when you talk to a firm about picking up their oil, whether it's a bar, or restaurant. Quickie Mart, Deli, whatever. Right. You have to take it seriously. You have to be there religiously. If you say, I'll be there every Thursday afternoon, then you be there. That's all there is to it. They don't want to deal with the hassle. They don't want the health department down their neck. That has to be dealt with in a neat, clean, orderly fashion, in a timely manner, every time. And business, business people always, if they're paying you something, They've got you. That's right. Whereas that's if you are offering free, they recognize the possibility of right. inconsistency. And the person that's picking it up, it's their responsibility, if they're getting paid, to be punctual, to be exact about it. If they're getting it for free, then they might get a little slack attitude. So. We're very impressed. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to leave some brochures and sure. calendars and pens and business cards. If you have any questions at a later time, don't hesitate to call. I got one question I'd like for him to address. Could you address the the fact how your machine is automated as a, compared to maybe some of the other machines out there? Okay, um, th that's an important thing. With mine, it's got a series of buttons on the front. I'll give you a quick rundown on how my machine operates. Put the light in the light hopper. Put the white hose into your methanol barrel. Push load one. When the desired amount of oil gets in the methanol tank, you push it again. That starts it circulating, and it, the timer puts the light into the methanol. When that's done dissolving, the machine knows when that is, you push a button that stops it. Then you take, or it stops itself, I'm sorry. Then you put the hose in the oil barrel, push the next button, it sucks up the oil into the reactor tank, when the desired amount gets in there, you push it again and it stops. Then you push a third button, and that's the process. You walk away, you leave it alone, don't touch it. You can watch it if you want, but just don't touch it. When it's done, it'll shut off. It'll settle the glycerol out the bottom. You open the manual valve to drain it off back into the bucket you get your oil in, because I collect them in the five gallon cups. I take care of that, put the red nozzle in my tank, push a green button, and fill my tank. It's got a shelf life of at least six months, and I've got some customers that store it in 50 gallon barrels after they make it. Mm -hmm. To get it back from the barrel into their tank, they just drop the hose into the barrel, push load, it pumps it back into the t reactor, then right to the tank. So they're using the pump on the machine on both ends. Okay. How often do you have to change the filter on your machine? The filter about every thousand gallons. It's a 10 micron spin on filter.